Hello again, welcome back. I want to talk about fervent prayer. In Ephesians chapter 5 verse 17, it tells us that the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. He is referring to the life and the ministry of Elijah. This fervency is not just something of the moment. It's not just being brought into a state of, of determination in a meeting or you know, a few times a day, but it's talking about a lifestyle. We need to walk in the spirit of prayer. In other words, we need to carry the burden of the Lord. That's what Elijah did. That's why his prayers were effective, because they were fervent. He wasn't just praying once a week or every now and then, but it was something that he carried in his heart day in and day out. Now we need to see that there is a difference between worry, anxiety, being overwhelmed by a problem, and the burden of the Lord. When we determine to walk in a right relationship with God day by day, we keep a heart that's open, and in that state the Lord can bring a burden. He can bring His plan. He can bring His will. There are times when I look back in my life and I've known that I've carried the burden of the Lord for days, sometimes weeks or months, and I'm crying to God. I'm praying and I'm trusting God for God's will to be done. We can't be consumed and so consumed about our own needs that there is no space in our hearts for the burden of the Lord. We need to keep our hearts open for this. It says of Jesus in Matthew 23, when he looked at Jerusalem, he said, Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how often I want you to gather you as your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, but you were not willing. He carried that burden for the people of God, for the people of Israel. You know, many Christians, many people, the first thing they do is complain. They gripe, they whinge, they moan about all these circumstances, the government, the this, 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 and all of these things. We need to keep our hearts free of that stuff so that we can carry the burden of the Lord. So when we pray, our prayers are effective, are fervent. We're carrying the heart of the Lord for what God wants to do in the nation. Certainly I can see the problems. I can see the bad politics, the bad leadership. I can see that, but I'm not going to allow this to take my life and block my heart. I want my heart to carry the purpose of God. Then we can pray effectively. May the Lord bless you.